In this demo, I'm gonna show you one of the simpler automated photo retouching features called the Content Aware Move. So I'm gonna to go to File and Open. On my desktop, I will find my Chapter 3 and Content Aware Move Tool, 3.4. Okay, I've got this birthday invitation for my son's first birthday here. And you could see when I turn off the top layer, I took this photo without an invitation in mind. Okay, so of course I centered him in the photo. Then later I decided, hey, I wanna add some text for his first big birthday. Of course that text now runs right over the kid, that's bad. I don't want the kid slamming into a wall. So what I wanna do is eventually move this kid. And the problem is, when I turn off my tight, he is on a background layer. I can't try to drag and move him. He's not gonna go anywhere. I can't double click and call that kid because then when I move him, I'm just gonna have a bunch of missing grass. Okay, so that's not the solution here. I'll go to edit, undo, edit, undo so I'm back to my background layer okay what I'm gonna do instead is turn on my text and I want to measure where the edge of this box is because when I turn it off I have no reference point so what I'm gonna do on my keyboard on my Mac is hit command R for rulers that would be control R on a PC and you have a ruler across the top here and a ruler going down the side. So I'm gonna put my cursor, my move tool, on this vertical ruler, anywhere on the ruler, and I'm gonna click and drag that ruler to create a guide. I'm gonna line that guide right up along the edge of my text so that when I turn off the top layer, I still have a reference where that bar was. Okay, now I can go to the background layer and I wanna move him. So I'm gonna press and hold down on the fourth tool down on the right. These are all your photo retouching tools. And I'm gonna come down to the Content Aware Move tool. All this tool wants you to do is drag a big bubble around the kid. What you don't do is drag right along the edge. You don't wanna trace right along the edge of that kid. That's not how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna start above and I'm gonna go up and over his head, away from the edge of his head, all the way down, all the way across the bottom, all the way around his shadow here, and back to the start. A big, safe bubble. Notice I'm nowhere near the edge of this kid. Okay, all you have to do once you have that, you're on your bottom layer. You put your cursor on his forehead and then you click and drag and move him where you want him to be seated. So if I click and drag, notice how he starts to go up and down. So after you start to drag, hold your shift key and he'll move straight across. And I want to center his head right about there, centered between the guide and the edge of the file. His toe might be dipping behind that black bar and that's fine, but I wanna move and center him over here. All I have to do now on my PC is hit enter, on my Mac I hit return, and Photoshop will photo retouch the rest of the photo for me. Magic, simple. I'm gonna deselect on my PC, Control D, on my Mac that would be Command D, and you'll notice, if you have a really sharp eye, there's a little bit of a blur of grass right here. Content Aware Move works pretty good. It's not perfect, but we don't have to worry about that because remember, our text is going to cover that up anyway. Nobody will know the difference. Nobody will know that we move this kid over to make our invitation. So once I'm done using that, I don't need my ruler. Command R on my Mac or Control R on a PC. Get rid of the ruler. To get rid of this guide, view menu, guides, and clear the guides. 
and there we go. We've got an invitation with a photograph moved over for this new addition to the photo. And hopefully I'll see you at the party. But there we go. Content aware move tool. Fourth one down on the right. Really basic photo retouching. So I'll go to file. Save a copy as I always do. I'll set my format to a JPEG. I'll make sure I'm on my desktop and I'll call that last name, first name, invitation. I've got my JPEG. When I go to save that on my desktop, I want a high quality JPEG or eight. And that's how you use the content aware move tool here in Photoshop.